Good morning everyone, Guy here and Plum, who, sidebar, I think she's been standing in wet paint somewhere, thank you Plum, she's been standing in wet paint because the bottom of her back right foot is, is white and now there's white footprints everywhere and it's in her ears. Where have you been? You are covered in white paint and no one's painting around the house. You may remember, uh, end of last year, I got a tattoo, very spur of the moment, it was literally that morning I woke up and I said I wanted to get a tattoo, a few hours later I got one. Drink more water if you need to refresh your memory. I went to College Hill Tattoos which is just down the road, a guy called James did a very good job. They always say that once you get a tattoo you were always thinking about the next one and it's totally true, as soon as I got this one I was thinking of the next one, but what would it be? And I've thought about it for a couple of months, and now I've decided to take the plunge. So in about half an hour, I'm going to go back to James at College Hill Tattoo, and he's going to put this on my body. That's right. Um, it's very similar to that. I'm going to make the moustache a little bit smaller, and it's not going to be completely coloured in. It's going to be the outline of the shark. All right, and I'm going to put it on this arm. I'm trying to figure out where, either on the underside, like here, or like across there. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I feel like that's something I should know before getting a tattoo. But I have this really strong theory that it comes to tattoos is the more you think about it the less likely you are you're gonna get it. It's like a bungee jump. If you sit there on the edge going oh should I get a tattoo? You're not gonna do it. That's why with that one my drink more water tattoo I literally thought drink more water why not and then I didn't think about it until it was on my body. People are going to go, why'd you get that? And I'm going to go, I don't know, it looked cool. Probably regret it, but that's future guy's problem. Let him deal with it. Let him pay hundreds of dollars for laser tattoo removal that's super painful and it's going to scar my body. Let him worry about it when he wants to, you know, if he wants a job interview and they don't hire me because I've got a stupid tattoo on my arm. Off to the tattoo place, it's gonna be fun, I'll take you with me. Um, I'm not gonna take Plum because she'll get paint everywhere. Meg's not gonna be with me this time because she's at work. So I just saw her, said goodbye. Next time she sees me, there's gonna be a shark on my body. So excited. Been 24 hours, the tattoo is finished. Ah, isn't he wonderful? Look at him. So he's got a little mustache and a little tiny smile. Look at his smile. And a super detailed bowler hat. Two things. One, thank you very much James Dean. I'll put everything you need to know about him below because he's a very talented man. If you are in Auckland, um, College Hill Tattoo, he 100% knows what he's doing. Very talented man. So if you're ever thinking about getting a tattoo, then I'd highly recommend him. He also did this one. A lot of people thought it was going to be a lot smaller. They thought it was going to be like that big on my wrist or something like that. When Meg saw it, she's like, oh. She loves it, but she did not realize it was going to be this big and I feel like she's part of the majority. The second thing is I need a name for him. I mean, I'm not going to write it underneath, but it would be cool to say a name. So far, the best suggestion is Shark Lock Holmes, because he kind of looks like Sherlock Holmes, but a shark. Shark Lock Holmes is currently the front runner for the name of my tattoo, if you can think of a cooler name for him down below, comment. Um, and then third thing as well, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair a color. I've never done it. I'm in this rebellious mood of, oh, I got a tattoo, I got to dye my hair. Who am I? Um, so if you feel like commenting a color, I'll try it, maybe. Okay, cool, comment below, think of a name. I'll see you later. Hi everyone, it's me. I wanted to tell you something really cool my mum's doing. She came up with this idea I feel like at the start of this year, and I was like, oh yeah, that's cool, but didn't really know she was gonna go through with it. But knowing my mum, I should have known better because once she says she's gonna do something, she does. She has made a kids party bus. It's 
thekidspartybus.co.nz if you want to check it out. It is launching really soon in a couple of weeks time, pretty much start of October is uh, the official launch date. The website still needs a bit of work on it. In theory what it is, is she has bought a bus and had it painted and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a kids party bus but it is portable so it's able to come to your home. If you live in the Wellington area in New Zealand then she can like drive the bus, park up outside your house or even meet you at a park if you haven't got much space on your driveway and then she has all the food, the games, uh, like the prizes and presents and dress ups all inside the bus. The footage you're going to be seeing now is inside the bus on the ferry setup. It is not finished. Um, the lights were hanging down a bit low and there are still a few more things to go in but that was in its draft so it is been finished since I went and visited it in Wellington and um, it swaps out to uh, change into a dinosaur theme so it's either dinosaur or fairy parties then it's going to be ages four to eight and up to ten kids I believe I think those are all the facts and they do the coolest games in the fairy um, side they make wands and they search for little like pegasuses pegasuses pegasi, pegasi in the uh, little fairy pond um, magical glittery light up area they'll see fairies and they uh, they play pass the pass obviously and they eat fairy bread and what else do they do oh the birthday girl or boy gets um, a big fairy balloon it's gonna be fab um, and on the dinosaur side all of those panels that you see on the side of the bus swap out to looking like dinosaur themed the fairy pool chases into like a little volcano rock pool so everything's like switch out a bowl to be able to change the themes and then the birthday girl or boy gets a helium dinosaur balloon which like has got weights on the feet so it walks behind you and there's like really cool prizes. She's done such a phenomenal job and um, I'm so excited for her. So if you are in the Wellington area, get in touch with old Philippa. She is the person that runs the fairy or dinosaur party. So she is going to be the queen or the head paleontologist. So you will be hanging out with my mum, which is super cute. But I'm really excited for her. I think she's really onto something here because it is so stressful sending out kids parties at your house. You've got to run it, you've got kids running around everywhere you've got to buy the food buy the decorations buy the prizes for all the games and that's all organized for you plus you don't have to clean up the mess i always think that's such a big thing that like when the party's over you get like you're like oh feel that's done but then you've still got two hours left of cleaning up sticky th fingers and prints and yeah, like the mess the mess literally leaves you yeah <laughs> it disappears down the drive yeah it just goes she just takes everything with her so it is the kids or dot co nz i'm going to check it right now dot co dot nz uh, if you go on there now the main photo is me as a fairy when i was a child i want to show you i'm really proud of her i think it's really cool and uh if you are in need of a four to eight year old's birthday party in the wellington area give her a call 027-228-9029 that's my mum's number i just gave out yeah, I thought that was quite bold. Yeah, but she's using her actual number for her business number. It's stupid, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. So please, please don't spam Philippa with text spam now. But that's that's her business number, so whatever. Not a big vlog this time around. Um, we've got some cool ideas for some videos coming up, so we're gonna have a big old filming session. They'll be coming out soon. And if you've got any ideas for videos, let us know. What are our ideas? I don't know any ideas. We wrote them down. Oh yeah, I've lost that list though. I thought you had it. Yeah. Uh, I've got to do a lot more hauls. The only problem is, I think I'm just a bit, I'm in a bit of a jealous mode. And I'm allowed to be jealous, jealousy. Like, as long as I think you admit what it is, you know that you're being jealous and you're not just being, like, vindictive. Pity. Pity. Is, um, I see all these gorgeous other plus-size YouTubers, and they have, like, a haul a day. I'm not even kidding. Like, a haul a bloody day on their channel. And I'm sitting there thinking, I can't fucking afford a haul a month. No. I can't. I'm desperate to. You know, I'd love to because I know those are the videos you guys really love and want to see. Um, so I'd love to be able to do all the shopping for you, try out all these places. But this is the closest we can do to a haul. Don't. This is our haul. This is not our haul. I got sent these. I get sent stuff through my job, and I got sent. So we've got real feel and feather like condoms, and then this is a Naturals Intimate Gel which looks like aloe vera, so in the summertime we're going to hide this, otherwise we're going to rub lube like rubber bodies. Steal my joke, why don't you? And, uh, perfect... Steal my joke, that was my joke! And perfect glide. That was well. my joke, I, I don't know why I'm on this mailing list, but I am. Anywho, as I was saying, I am sorry that you don't see as many hauls as other YouTubers. I would love to do three a week, I would love to do two a week, I'd love to bloody do one a week. 
Yeah. But I, I, I don't know how they do it, guys. I don't know. I don't know if it's the YouTube money and they've got more advertising. I don't know if their their partners get paid more than mine does. Oh, I'm sorry. And they fund the horse. I'm I don't sorry, know. I'm only five maybe. Months. Maybe, maybe five months into my new job. Maybe, um, maybe their jobs just, um, just earn more than me. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But we're saving for a house, and um, we've um, forcibly five guys. Pass, uh, pass me the perfect glide, Lou. I'm gonna go sell myself on the street because you need more money. You wouldn't give me that much money. I'm gonna be a hooker. No, yeah, nobody would pay that no much. No one would, would buy. Yeah. Anywho, we'll see you guys later. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.